Hi garden friends, I am Miss Alicia and I am here today to share a Bible story with you. I want to start by showing you my prayer jar. And in it, I like to place people I would like to pray for and it's a daily reminder to pray. God wants us to pray to him and wants us to talk to him all the time. Anytime you want or need to, you can talk to God. So I made two little note cards here, and this one says garden friends. I'd like to pray for all of you, my garden friends. I'm going to stick it in my jar. And then the Precious Lambs teachers. Um, there are quite a few of them right now who are sick with COVID, so um, they could use our prayers as well. Um, God wants us to pray to him, like I said. And in today's Bible story, we're going to hear about how Jesus, when he lived on earth, prayed to God. Um, he went to a quiet place to pray, and the name of that place was the Garden of Gethsemane, which is kind of neat because that's the name of our church, is Gethsemane. So we're going to hear today in our story about how Jesus went to the Garden of Gethsemane and what he prayed to God about. So I will read that lesson to you now. It was the night before Jesus would die on the cross to save people from their sins. Since Jesus is God, he knew what would soon happen to him. Jesus wanted some time to pray to his Heavenly Father, so he went for a walk with his friends. Jesus took them to a place called the Garden of Gethsemane. Most of Jesus' friends sat down in one part of the garden, but Jesus took Peter, James, and John a little farther into the garden. Those were three of his disciples. Jesus was very sad. He told his three friends, stay here and pray. Then Jesus walked a few steps farther to pray by himself. He prayed, dear father, if I can take away the sins of all people in another way, then let me do that. But if dying on the cross is the only way to save people, then I will do whatever you ask. Jesus walked back to Peter, James, and John. They were sleeping. Jesus told them, couldn't you watch and pray for just a little while? Pray so that you will not turn away from me. Jesus went away and prayed the same prayer to his heavenly father. Then he went back to check on Peter, James, and John. They were sleeping again. Jesus left them and went back to pray again. He prayed the same prayer. Jesus knew that God the Father wanted him to die on the cross. It was the way he had chosen to save all people. Jesus was ready to do whatever his father wanted him to do. God sent an angel to help Jesus be strong and ready for what would happen soon. Then Jesus went back to Peter, James, and John and woke them up. Get up, Jesus said. Someone is coming and he will tell my enemies who I am. Jesus was willing to let his enemies take him away to be killed. Then a man named Judas came into the garden. Judas had been one of Jesus' friends, but enemies of Jesus had paid Judas money to tell them where Jesus was. Judas had told the enemies, the one I kiss is Jesus. Take him. So Judas led Jesus' enemies into the garden. They carried swords and torches. Jesus walked, excuse me, Judas walked up to Jesus and kissed him. Then the enemies came up to Jesus and tied him up. They began to lead him away as their prisoner. When Jesus' friends saw what was happening, they were afraid. They all ran away. They did not want to be captured like Jesus. And, and I also have a picture here I'd like to share with you. Here it is of Jesus kneeling down, praying in the Garden of Gethsemane. And there you can see in the background his three disciples. And they're sleeping. They're taking a nap while Jesus is praying and asking God what he should do. And we find out in our story that God answered that prayer, or Jesus knew that God wanted him to die on the cross. And that was what was expected of Jesus. Um, we know this also that in the Bible, Jesus prayed to his father at saying, your will be done. And that is something that you hear or we hear in the um, Lord's Prayer that we say at church. And these are the words Jesus also teaches us to pray in the Lord's Prayer. We ask God to do whatever he wants or wills to do. And we know that God is going to answer our prayers in the very best way. So that is it for our lesson today, friends, and I hope that you have a wonderful week, and I would like to actually close in prayer with you, um, and I will do that now. If you'll fold your hands with me, please. Heavenly Father in heaven, please hear our prayers. We ask that you continue to watch over each of our garden friends and also the teachers of precious lambs. We know that you will do what is best. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Amen. Thanks, friends. Have a great week.